Hi, all you lovelies out there. So I know it's been a while since I made my last video and I'm so sorry for that. Um, but I have created another YouTube channel and I've been super busy with that YouTube channel. Um, pretty much since actually I made my last video on this channel. Um, but I decided to do something that I've never done before on YouTube. Um, or, well yes, never done before on YouTube. And that's make a haul video. I recently went shopping and bought a lot of MAC products. Uh, or a lot, for me it was a lot at least. Um, and I've decided to share them with you and my opinions about them. Oh, I have white lips. Um, I haven't got any chapsticks on, um, but it's really early in the morning, so if I babble, rabble, babble a lot, then I'm really, really sorry. Um, but yes, I'm just going to get started. Um, so I've never ever owned a MAC product, or that is to say I've owned an eyeliner about MAC, but I don't think that's the best product MAC makes, so maybe it's a little like, mm. um, but so recently there's a store here in Denmark that had a 25% discount on all MAC products and then I thought why not I've always wanted to try MAC products and I already made a list of MAC products that I wanted to buy um, but because they're fairly expensive compared to drugstore makeup um, I sort of divided it over three months uh, period of how much I can buy per month but I ended up buying everything um, two days ago because it was so cheap and because there was a discount, so I thought it would be stupid not to to buy them all. Um, that is to say, I actually did not buy the stifling 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 brush from Mac, even though I oh, it's, that's also on my list. Um, but I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna get started with the most boring product of what I bought. If you're wondering what I'm wearing now, makeup wise, um, not because it's my best look. It's very early in the morning. Um, I will put it down below in the description box I will place it. Um, I'm not gonna do any editing on this video because mainly because it takes a lot of time and I find it charming if you make a little mistakes. Um, so the first one is a MAC eyeshadow and it's really hard to see because I have the really annoying lamp that is <laughs> lighting in it. Um, but it's called Carbon Matte um, and it's just a matte black eyeshadow um, really simple there's nothing to it there's no shimmer in it um, or it, no there's no shimmer if there is then I probably dropped it from using it um, I've used it twice it's not my best buy uh, it's actually a sort of a regret buy now I come to think about it um, but it's one of those where you have to depot them. Um, there are a lot of great depotting videos, so I'm not gonna make one of those. Um, also, because this is the only MAC eyeshadow I have, so I think depotting it would simply be stupid, uh, unless I put it in a box with other eyeshadows, but I'm not gonna depot my Urban Decay's naked palettes either. Um, but it's carbon matte. It's really nice uh, for the crease to make a darker effect. I do not, I'm not wearing it now, if you're wondering. Um, but it's really nice for the more darker, dramatic looks that you might want to do. Um, the next thing is a prep and prime eye base, uh, which is really nice to have underneath eyeshadow if you do if you're not using a what's it called a a, a liquid. No, it's not called. It's like for example the color tattoo from Maybelline. If you're not using that kind of eyeshadow, this is the one I'm, I'm wearing today. Um, it's like a really nice base actually underneath other eyeshadows that you might want to apply. Um, and I thought this is really nice. What I... It's, it's in light. There are, as far as I am concerned or know, um, there are three different colors, light, medium, dark. Um, I am light all over, no doubt about it, so of course I needed the light one. Um, and this is, as far as I know, I'm gonna use it as it's instead of a concealer. Um, I've already used it, as you can see. I'm actually using it today. I just applied it underneath my eyebrow um, and over uh, my eyelid and all the way up on top. Um, normally, I wear the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer underneath my eye and over my eye. Um, because I actually figured out that it's a really good base, surprisingly enough. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna use this instead, but I, I'm not sure 
correct me if I'm wrong. You can also comment down below if you know more about this product. This is the first time I've ever used it. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, if you can actually smear it underneath. I don't know. Maybe I should Google it. Um, I, I took them out of the boxes. So these boxes are empty. But it's just so you can see the box as well. So I didn't throw them out. Plus, I really like MAC boxes. They're really nice. They're really cute. Um, the next thing I bought is the Strobe Liquid Lotion from MAC. Um, the reason I bought this one um, is because I saw a video from Soella and Sparkle of Glitter where they did their all-time favorites or something like that. And I think Sparkle of Glitter said she uses it instead of a highlighter on cheekbones and the eye. Um, I'm also thinking about using it on my collarbone section when I'm going out to parties or something like that. I think it would be really nice um, added effect. Um, and it's it's got like it's white but it's got shimmery effect so it's it's really I can just try to um, so it's it's got a shimmery effect if you smear it out it's very light it's very liquidy um, but yeah I'm not sure if it's shimmering that much on the camera but it's really nice it almost looks a tad purplish. Um, without being purple of course um, so that's nice um, the next thing I bought was also something called prep and prime I do not have the box for this it's called the prep and prime am I holding it up right or no it's the prep and prime transparent finishing powder it's not focusing um, and it's just a white powder that you can apply with a brush over your foundation. Um, and I've, it's actually sort of cheat because this one I bought a couple of months ago, whereas these other products I bought two days ago, but I thought I would add this to the MAC haul video. Um, and I always, be, prior to today, I've always used drugstore foundation and I've always been really disappointed because first of all, the drugstore that I buy them in, they give crappy service so they will never help you find the right foundation. So my entire life, I've just guessed, uh, I know you have to smear it on the neck to figure out the right foundation as far as I'm concerned, um, but I always did the bristling on the hand and how it looks on my hand but that's completely wrong because I always ended up buying shades that were too dark or shades that were way 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 too light so no matter what I did it pretty much looked cakey on my face uh, and no matter what I did I've only used every foundation I ever bought I think three times before saying mm -mm, I'm never wearing that again um, I think I've tried the or I know I've tried the uh, creme puff pow from max creme puff pow creme puff foundation. Why did I say pow? Creme Pop foundation from Max Factor. Um, the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. The L'Oreal True Match foundation. The, I think Maybelline who made those moussey foundations. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but I, I think that was one of my very first foundations. That was like a moussey foundation from Maybelline, I think it was. Um, what have you, I've tried different ones from L'Oreal actually. Um, but I think the one that's disappointed me the least is the True Match foundation from L'Oreal, which is the one I bought prior to this MAC haul video. Um, I think I bought it half a year ago or something like that. Um, it was maybe a little too light on my skin and it's, I, don't, I don't think it's, it divides very well. So if you place something on your skin, it gives this very thick layer. So from a distance you look like you have flawless skin, but if you just come like this close to your face, it looks a bit cakey maybe. Like that's why I bought this because then I thought it would be really nice to apply it on top. And it gives this actually sort of a shimmery effect, which I really like. I can just show you. But it always tends to fall out. It's smoking. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually smoking. Um, but it's just this white powder and it always flies everywhere. But there's a lot of product. I think in general I've been positively surprised how much product you get for your buck. Um, I'm gonna wait with the best one to last. Then I was looking for a foundation. Now, first of all, the one thing I like about MAC, not that I've ever really tried it before two days ago, is their service. Um, if you say you need a foundation and you say you really don't know what color, because that's what I did. I said I would need a foundation. I've heard that MAC foundations are really good. 
but I honestly do not know what color to wear uh, because I always buy the wrong foundation so maybe they can help me. So they did and I actually got a complete makeup look from them without having to pay for <laughs> Sorry for that, ran out of space on my memory card. So like I said, the service there is amazing. I just went in and said I need a foundation. Um, and they said, are you sure you're gonna buy it? So I think that was their trick of say, or not trick, but there was, it was their way of ensuring that if they gave me this makeup look, they would be sure that I would, they would, I would pay for it. Um, so, but I bought the MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 foundation. Um, again, I've heard it from the same video that I heard about the strobe liquid from Sparkle Glitter when they did their all time favorite that both So Ella and Sparkle Glitter, they said that this was really good. Mine is an NC15, which just applies on my light face. Um, I'm actually using it right now. And I really like that it looks like I don't have any foundation on. I, of course you can see it if you look neckwise. I, I forgot to probably wipe it down, but also the light is shining, so don't think I have that much difference. Um, but I really like it. It's, it's super easy to apply. It feels a little thick in the beginning, but when you start to smear it out, it becomes a really nice light mixture. Uh, and, and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. I always feel like, when I, previously when I applied foundation, I always felt like I was applying foundation and I had foundation on my face. Um, but it really doesn't now. And I, of course, plus, SPF, it needs to have SPFs, especially because in Denmark at least, the summer is coming, I think in Australia the winter is coming, but um, in Denmark the summer is coming and SPF is crucial if you don't want to have flaky, no red skin. The last product that I have, and it's my absolute favorite one of the ones I bought, um, I've used it non-stop since I bought it pretty much, um, and it's the Studio Fix powder plus foundation mine is an n4 um again empty box so don't worry um and it looks like this i really like the nifty camera or the cameras because i'm watching my camera in the mirror hello i really like the nifty um mirror it's sort of like um it's a little it's a little old school to go like this uh, and it's gonna go to the powder room um, and then it has the foundation and when you lift it up there is the sponge underneath um, which you can see I've already used a little bit I should probably clean it but what I really like about the hiding space for the sponge is I don't know if you can see it but there are holes in the bottom so this is not gonna smell I think the worst part about these kind of sponges is that they always tend to smell after you've used them a couple of times but by hiding it in this nifty compartment with holes in the bottom it's not gonna smell and you can't see that it's a sponge underneath um, furthermore when I give a lot of money on makeup I want to make sure that there's a lot of product for the amount of money you give um, and when I open this compartment I don't know if you can see it it looks a little stupid but there's actually a lot of powder for your money worth um, so I'm really happy about that. It looks like it, but I can give a review when I've once emptied all these in in three years. I can give a review about what I thought about the products. Um, but I'm also wearing this right now. I'm actually wearing this over the foundation, which might be a little bit redundant. Um, but I decided because I really like this product and I'm gonna have this in my handbag forever and ever because the fact that I can just, if I'm sweaty or something like that, just do um, and then your flawless skin again is amazing. I'm re really regretting that I'm not wearing like chapstick or anything. It, it's so early and it went so quickly. I just wanted to get this video over with because I filmed it yesterday where again my camera stopped but it's because of battery exhaustion uh, and now my camera stopped because of my memory card. Oh my god, can I never hit a break? Um, mainly because I'm filming all the time lately. So I hope you like this haul. I know it's not the best of hauls but um, I can do a sort of makeup tutorial where I'm using some of these products. Um, also give a review once and for all what I think about them. Um, so far the ones that I have used, which is pretty much, I've used every single product. Um, 
I would not buy the carbon matte unless you're like a good makeup artist who knows how to use their eyeshadows because I think it's too dark. I regret buying this. Um, the Prep and Prime, because I have a concealer, it might be a little redundant to buy this, uh, but it was actually really, really cheap, so I thought I would buy it and I would try it. Um, the Prep and Prime, what was it called? Transparent Finishing Powder um, is really nice, but again, it, you can come across a little whitish. If you're more in the dark skin area, I would maybe not use this. Um, unless you like really buffer it in. The foundation, not, and Studio Fix Powder Plus foundation, not disappointed, love them. I would go out and buy them, but remember to get them in the right color, so don't be afraid to ask the counter girls. Um, the highlighting strobe liquid, I have not used it that much yet, but when I've used it, I really like it. I tend to use it actually when I'm not wearing anything at all, because I like to apply it to my face and it looks fresh and shiny um, because it's, it says on the box that it's to add glow and vitality to tired stressed out skin use when needed um, which is for us girls really any any day like every every day any day um, so yeah but I hope it helped a little bit I hope it was a little useful um, now we'll go upload this video because I have so much to do today <laughs> bye